Okay, here I am again reviewing another pattern that I bought from the Vogue website of Morphe 9921. Um, this was probably released for Morphe quite a number of years ago. I think it was 2006. I'm really not sure. Um, I believe the company itself, Morphe, may still have this pattern available for purchase. I really don't know if it's on the Vogue website anymore, but that was my whole motivation for buying this. One, I love dresses. Two, I even like cocktail dresses even more. And three, when I do have the opportunity, I will bling it up like crazy with beading and embroidery if I can. And when the time permits, I will get this done as I can try between classes and school and work and other free time that allows me. So, you know, this did take me a long time because while well, I did bench it for two years, um, I had some plan changes that kind of didn't officially and initially work out for me that I thought would. So I had to change my plan. And so I ended up adding all these white flowers of fuchsias and some of these cast on flowers in blue. And I matched the thread color from DMC with the silk shantung color of a peacock green to the leaves. Now, I don't know. Um, I really do like this dress. It is a size 50. Um, it fit me then when I bought it, when I made it. And I had lost quite a bit of weight since then. So by logic, you would think, well... It's kind of too big now, but actually it isn't. It actually kind of clings and has a little bit of give to it. So that's okay. We can live with that, right? So if I had to buy this pattern again, I probably would buy a 46 or a 44. So still, it still fits quite comfortably. And having the lining too, you know, you just slip into it and you just feel like, you know, it just fits so much better when it's lined. So going over this, um, this silk shantung, I actually have another project that I kind of also benched and I had some leftover fabric. So I made the ties out of that and uh, I originally wanted a sky blue. So it actually didn't work out for me to use sky blue. And I actually, looking at this, I really like this color a lot more. So it's okay it works for me i like jewel tones and i don't know it just worked out and for the hem i also decided to not put in a scalloped hem as i had in their picture that they had for the image that the company had so i vetoed i just said no to that i said nah forget it i'll just skip that because i tried to make a template and it was it just didn't work out at all like i was like <laughs> doesn't look good so I just made a straight hem and was happy with it so I said oh next time right and also uh what else had I changed about this oh there's so many things um yeah I wanted to do all embroidery with flowers like bigger flowers but as it turned out it turned out to be more than a beading project than an embroidery project but when you combine the two it actually does quite well now this here along the uh, bust seam, I actually put in a whole bunch of seed beads and other delicas of different colors of copper and, you know, dark blue and a multicolored gasoline spill type iridescent type blues. And I pictured it to be a bit of a rain gutter where it would start overflowing and spilling onto the plants and the flowers below and that's why you see all these dotted beads everywhere which is what I did but hey I don't know it was just came to me one day and I said okay let's do it and it worked so I'm happy with that and so I also um what else did I do to change this project oh there's so many things but what I didn't exactly like with this fabric that I wish I could have changed was the zipper. Now I put in an invisible zipper on the left side and you know the weight of the zipper isn't really cooperating well with the fabric because for some reason it's just not. But when I wear it it's not really visible that it's sticking out a little bit. I don't know I tried to avoid that but and I could work at it later and fix it but for the now it's kind of done. And, uh, you know, I just really like this pattern. I, I just, 
It's the Cocktail Extreme. It's just one of those classic patterns that tend to be, I think, more on their popular side of, of purchasing from the company. If I had to know their statistics, I would say that it's one of their more popular patterns. But I looked at it and I'm like, I have to have this dress. Like whenever it comes to fancy cocktail things, it just gives me so many ideas to work with. And I really, really like that it stirs up my imagination to do more things. I really do appreciate their conceptual ideas and their products that they draw from their catalogs. It really helps me to do things that I would normally not do. So that's really, really helpful. And um, the back side here, I did do a little more embroidery as well right at the bottom i decided to just leave it at that because i wanted it to emulate the fact that whatever was on the front is moving over and creeping up and growing so i didn't use any beading in this area obviously because you know when you get up and you sit down it's going to be very painful you don't want to sit on really big hard crystal beads or any other smaller beads and it can be you know a little uncomfortable and painful to be honest so i left that area totally bare um, because it, I guess in my case it just wasn't necessary and by working the last part of this whole project where I actually got enough momentum to actually finish it I finished it back in September of 2013 and I was just going like stink I was probably going for about two or three months straight and all my available free time between classes and I said you know i this has to get finished and then after a while I said you know what I'm gonna do this and that's gonna be it because at a certain time when you're really tired and the bulk of your work has already been done and you want to do more work and you feel like oh just it just it would be nice to have but I don't want to get too tired so I have to finish and you have to draw the line somewhere and that's kind of what I did so you know I I just said, oh, forget it. I'm just going to end there and it's good enough. And if I want to go back and do more work, well, the hems are open. I can still do it, you know, like I haven't completely closed this off. So it's all good. So basically that is the pattern that I ended up finishing two years to do. Now, in most cases, it would not take me two years to do this. But, you know, like I said, with my available free time, I just benched it I don't know why and it was such a shame because it's it's a, such a nice dress and I really really enjoy it so I think that um you know if you want something done give yourself realistic goals don't overdo it and get too much on your plate because at that point like what happened to me I just benched it and I just didn't feel like doing it but after a while, I went back to him and I said, hey, you know, this could really work. I want to wear this item. And then I gave myself enough motivation to finish it. So whenever you do have that I time when you're stuck and you don't feel like going on, just remember to make your work into sizable chunks. You know, do this much this day and then this much another day and eventually you will get done. So other than that, that is a review of Murphy 9921. It's a knee-length cocktail, cute as hell dress, and I really, really like it. It fits really well. And, you know, you got to give the company credit for, you know, making really good pattern pieces, and they fit really well, and you can't really go wrong. And I just, I love this dress, and one day I'm going to have a function where I'm going to actually go out and do it. So hopefully, you know, you will have enough imagination to start your own project in the vision that you see it because this is what I saw and unfortunately I did lose out and wanting to put more on here but then I thought it's just going to be too much or the fabric wouldn't support it you know like I wanted to put stump work dragonflies on here to make it even more magical but you know the weight of the fabric just couldn't take it and it would just sag and you know and stuff like that and speaking of which all this dimpling between the the beading and the embroidery I couldn't I couldn't get away from I 
tried very hard to keep my stuff drum tight and aside from that I didn't actually want to stretch it to the point beyond where it wouldn't bounce back because everything has an elastic limit so I thought well you know I'm just gonna deal with it and steam it and steam it some more but I cannot get these dimplings out of here and I don't have one of those big you know stretcher um, fabric things that you roll out and you do embroider on that but I, I just don't have those resources right now but if I did you bet I would use it um, but at the same time I think that all this dimpling gives it a lot of character I don't know why I kind of like it and it's nothing to do with me not ironing it. It was just the amount of work and the pull from the beading thread and the weight of the beads and the embroidery and all this other stuff to make the tension right. I, I just couldn't get away from it. So I hope that this was very helpful and that if you really want this pattern, please contact Murphy. They may still have it. I don't know which sizes are available. Like I said, this one is 50 and, uh, I hope that they will be able to help you and you can enjoy any of your future projects that you see as your dream and your vision come to life in the form of a dress. Thank you very much.